See what's ahead. Thank you for providing shower on the trip. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> It's so nice. Everything is so well organized. You know, you're sweating and then you get a shower and a good meal. <laughs> you get your bicycle repaired. You know, if you get a puncture, there is the technician <laughs> who keeps you forward. It's really, it's a, an amazing trip. <laughs> it's going smooth, I should tell you. Yeah. Not every trip goes smooth. <laughs> yeah. Any comment from the carrier of today's ring? I'm wearing it proudly <laughs> and with honor. Really beloved, we gathered here in the sight of you, me, and the uh, big fella. This is Mr. Bean. This <laughs> is Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, do it like this. <laughs> Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Crossing barefooted. Yeah. Ah. Ay. Ay. <laughs> Was? Zeig mal die zwei Dinge hier. Gib mir mal dein Messer, dann nehme ich sie. Here we go, locally caught fish. And Wolfgang is cutting it up. Whoa, look at those skills. Wow. Yeah. Skills coming to bear. Knife, please. Ah. Give me a knife. Ah, this. And. Is that a lot? Wolfgang washing his hands as a good doctor would. <laughs> very good, very good. And washing the knife. The scalpel. <laughs> washing the scalpel as well in hygienic conditions. That's Wolfgang.
you know, uh, become more or less a scholar. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and that's a that is that is a way that is that not not everybody can afford. You see, you you gotta look after your animals and uh, just you know you, you gotta live, man. Okay. <laughs> so, in the four was this uh, Tibetan Lama who decided to simplify the doctrine. Okay, and uh, and uh, and therefore he created this uh, a new type, a new let's say a new direction. Of, of uh, any branch of Buddhism where it was enough for you to have to know like, a couple of only a couple of prayers yeah and then you would have a uh, this prayer wheel at home and then if you would uh, worship you, you would pray to the local mountain and and for instance you know what what is the prayer wheel yes yes the prayer wheels inside inside they have Buddhist scrolls okay Buddhist uh, readings readings yeah inside wrapped around the axle so by turning it turning it equal is equivalent to reciting them all is this real no it's not the hail it's the hail <laughs> really yeah oh my god is it on the back <laughs> No, not on the back, landing on the front. You know, I'm, I'm really hopeful that you will make a good film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just working on the project. You will take me a second time. <laughs> Greg, what's your comment on this restaurant here? <laughs> Good on it's good <laughs> it is very good. Okay. Delicious. It's very foggy in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's let's start from the from the front, okay? You have this here you have this elongated head. Mouth. Mouth. Okay. The eye. And here's the neck. Going all the way. And then you have the body, which is which is becoming narrow to the rear. And then you have the rear hind, the legs. The front legs are somewhere here, okay? Very small. And all above the body, you have this very ornamental this, uh, depiction of of the antlers of the animals. This stone itself it represents a person, a warrior. Because you have here, you have the belt. Belt, okay. And from the belt is hanging what? A battle axe. A battle axe. Yes, yeah. you're See? right. There's a battle axe. And then on this side, if you, if you look carefully, it should be a dagger, mm -hmm. a knife. But I don't, I don't quite, quite make it. And then all, all, all around, you see. And here you have this deer springing up, upwards. Again, mouth, eye. eye, the body, the front leg, the rear body, and the antlers going. One, two, okay, yeah, three, yeah, yeah. This is even four. clearer than here. Yeah. On top, there you have the sun. Okay. Um, below the clouds, probably what? Below, no, I don't know. It's no, it's part of the. It's, it's part of a deer, isn't it? Yeah, it's part of a deer. It's a horizontal Ready line for the next part. Yeah. You see this this beautiful medal. I call it a medal, and I'll tell you why in a moment. I've worn it with honor all day. Thank you, Carol. I've extremely pleased to wear this. It's actually of design with the um, rather than white it, it's a silver uh, with a star in the middle very similar to the Australian medal. <laughs> now I'd, I'd love to first award oh, nice. it to Wolfgang. I, I have some notes here. <laughs> <laughs> because there's this spectacular fall in the creek of 
<laughs> of Wolf Wolfgang over the handlebars, apparently went several metres in the air and dived into the water. <laughs> but the trouble is, there's no verification. There's <laughs> only Wolfgang. So I'm sorry, I'm passing. Okay, I can live there. So then I, I turn um, to Greg, but unfortunately, he can't get it. Either the, the standard wasn't high enough. He did reach the top of the first pass first, but he didn't go round the Uber. <laughs> yeah. Now, Francine, I've got to consider you on this for the Mongolian medal. Those two fish that you caught for it. That, that, was, that was beautiful. But on its own, it's not enough for the Mongolian medal. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Mongolian medal is charming. And <laughs> Wolfgang again. Um, he uh, came to the creek and he powered. He got actually halfway through. And I think we should give a round of applause for that. Halfway. <laughs> but that's not enough to get the Mongolian medal either. <laughs> And by the way, his front wheel hit a rock and he swerved off into the deep. <laughs> that's, that's what happened, otherwise probably would have made it. Uh, and Anne and Alistair, this could go to you two together. But once again, stand, <laughs> just haven't got over the bar. You, you were both freezing from the, the hail and then the rain and you could, neither of you could actually speak for a while, but... Not Still enough. not good enough to get the Mongolian medal. I can live with that. <laughs> and Doug, oh, yeah. I have considered you too. Uh, however, just by going the whole way, albeit on your own, almost reach the bar, but still not good enough. And Marg and Carol, I think for knitting together <laughs> <laughs> in the car, made our trip worthwhile. It we was absolutely bonding. beautiful. Um, no, I, I now turn back to Francine. Uh. She was first round the Uvo. That on its own is, is not enough. But enduring those hail marks, and we've got photographic evidence, <laughs> spotted marks all over a leg, and I took a photo of it before her husband did. So this goes to oh. you. <laughs> Combined with the fish and going round the over. Thank you very much. I, I enjoy for the hell marks. Enjoy getting this. Mongolian meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So very nice. Behave well tomorrow. <laughs>